Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Ordin Studios and welcome back to another YouTube video. And guys, in today's YouTube video, I am going to be playing All Star Tower Defense once again. And guys, the goal of today's YouTube video is going to be it's going to be another noob to pro video obviously. And the goal is to hit level 40 today. Um level 40 is basically the like uh, I guess like the the golden level in All Star before level 100 because level 40 is when the game basically says you can do most of the stuff in the game you just can't access world 2 so if we hit level 40 we will be able to enable trading and much much more importantly we should be able to use the anniversary code which dropped and that is going to give us 10,000 gems 10 exp fours 100 stardust which is going to mean we can get even more spins to try and get that sweet seven star so with that being said guys uh today we're gonna go do another uh one or two infinite extremes thank you guys so much for the support on the last video these are really hard for me to make they do take a while so i really appreciate it and yeah please consider leaving a like and subscribing if we hit 100 likes on today's video oh i don't know what i'll do i won't lie to you that's kind of hard to <laughs> that's kind of hard to reach i don't think we'll be able to hit 100 likes but guys if we do somehow hit 100 likes on today's video uh then i'm just gonna be a very happy man but also more importantly please uh consider leaving a comment down below i think i'm gonna try to start doing some comment shout outs you guys can pretty much comment anything but my goal for the video is basically to just find a few comments whether they're just like at, you know tips support anything like that and i want to try doing comment shout outs for the next video so yeah please consider leaving a comment down below and now with that being said let's get straight into it also, I completely forgot to say this, I did do some off-screen grinding. So, all I did was, um, basically just did a bunch of infinite extremes, that's literally it. So, I was able to get a bunch of EXPs, and that is what allowed me to get this, like, EXP 6-star and level up Naruto to 41. I also did equip Kid Naruto, uh, from the Battle Pass, because- uh, The Star Pass, my bad guys. Because he is just really good. Like, I used this unit in an infinite, and he's almost adult Naruto level. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, let's go. Okay, so loading up right now, guys, um, basically, I've just been kind of sticking with the same strat of put a bunch of my adult Naruto's in the middle, put a bunch of maxed out kid Naruto's up at the front, and that should get me to, like, wave 50 to 60-ish of extreme. Now, damage-wise, I actually thought the damage task gave a lot more gems than it really does. Um, I'm only at 4,000 gems right now, which, don't get me wrong, is super good, but we are definitely still really in need of that really overpowered damaging unit. So, if I do hit hit level 40 i'm considering trading like my modera from my main account over to this account but uh honestly i won't do that in today's video so can you guys try to comment below whether you think it's cheating if i trade over like my modera because i do want to make this just a series of noob to pro that kind of fits what you guys uh expect out of it and if you guys think that that's a little too far you know it's not really a legit way to go from noob to pro just let me know down below now, uh, as for how I do Infinite Extreme, back to that, I won't lie to you, it's pretty boring. Uh, I usually just, like, place down my units, max them out, and then, I don't know, I'll go read a book or something. Like, you you have a lot of free time when you're just doing, like, really quick runs, and since I have no Commander Airwind, no units I really need to keep up with in, like, regards to supports or anything like that, we're honestly just doing fine well off, just leaving the game kind of AFK. Um, in terms of my big goals right now, I want to get our Bulma to level, uh, to, uh, evolve into her 5-star form because obviously that's going to be huge it's going to be way way more cash overall for us which is something we're already kind of in need of and it is just going to make it easier on me goal number two is to get blackbeard six star um if you guys didn't see the first episode we did get blackbeard five star from the stardust manor and right now the only major issue that we have is that we need to get whitebeard five star and i haven't been able to catch a banner with whitebeard five star on it of course, another thing is we also haven't progressed through the story at all. Like, we literally uh, have only completed the first Namek level on Extreme. We haven't done anything else. So once I go ahead and get Whitebeard, I'll definitely make that episode more devoted to getting to the One Piece world, getting all the Baroque work agents that we actually need, and then hopefully getting Blackbeard 6-star. Um, so right now, the major goals is Bulma 5-star, Blackbeard 6-star, get a really good money unit to grind out gems, and our biggest goal that I'm hoping for is that we can actually get one of the um stardust banner uh featured units so my biggest deal is i think 
that uh, I'll probably not end the series, but kind of consider the game complete once we get our first 7 star. Since the 7 stars are the best units in the game, I would just say that getting a 7 star is like a way of signifying, you know, we kind of beat all star tower defense. Obviously, there's no real way to signify it, and I could count it by beating the story, but let's be real, guys. There's a point when the story is just really repetitive. Like, if you have good units, you're just sitting there doing story over and over again. So, my goal isn't really to beat the story, and uh, also... I'm like not even close to finishing the story on my main account, so if that's what's considered being a pro, then maybe like, you know, I, I, I'm not really a pro yet anyway. So yeah, overall, like, I don't think that I'm gonna, I think I'm probably gonna say that the series is complete once we get our first 7 star. So yeah, with that being said now, that is gonna be a lot of luck as long, uh, also combined with a lot of leveling up, so let me go cut back to you guys when this round is over. And really quick, I just want to show you guys this. As you can see, for only 25,000, we are getting early Naruto doing 132,000 damage at level 1. So that can already be like almost 200k plus for only 25k cash. This is probably one of the most broken and easiest to get units in the entire game. Okay guys, and that is going to be round over a little earlier than I intended to be honest because I actually didn't even, uh, f I just barely finished maxing out all my units. But yeah, let's go back to the lobby and see what level we are. Okay, so right now we are at level 34, which is really, really good. I don't know exactly if I should even do story at this point because I don't know how much XP a Namek is really going to get me. Let's go ahead and do a quick extreme Namek now to see where we stand. Alright guys, we just loaded in, I'll go ahead, place down our Naruto, and uh, we're gonna be done with this extreme run right now. So, um, yeah, I won't even lie to you guys, my Naruto's were spawn killing so fast that I didn't even see enemies for like the last whole half of that, but that was a pretty good extreme run. And actually, I think we just got, oh no, no, we got the basic alien soldier, I'm gonna go see how much XP that got us. Okay, so that got us about half a level, so it's definitely not going to be good as good as Infinite Extreme. I'm going to go ahead and enter back into one last Infinite Extreme, see where we land, and I might have to call it a day for today because I'm a little bit behind schedule. So yeah, let's go ahead and this is going to be the last run. Okay, and that is coming up to another close, and yeah, a thousand seconds, um, it's kind of crazy that, you know, that much time spent in-game is gonna be pretty quick for you guys, but that is probably gonna be the last run of the day, let's go ahead and go back and see what level we are, and then I'll end the video. Alright guys, so we are now currently going to be at a solid level 37, which means we are three levels away from the golden- oh! Blackbeard's in the banner! Wait, hold up, hold up, guys. I thought I was gonna end today's video right now, but by some insane luck, we have got some incredible banners. Whitebeard and Bulma in the same banner. We are gonna spend- oh, no inventory space. Okay, let me quickly buy some more inventory space. 150 gems, 150 gems, okay. And let's go ahead now, and let's try and get Whitebeard. Let's hope for some insane luck. Whitebeard, first spin! Nah, okay, okay. We really need this, because if we get BB6, we can get so much further in infinite mode. Okay, okay, no white beard, no white beard, okay, but this will be the 10 spin. Okay, we did get another 4-star Bulma, which is what we need to get Bulma 5-star. This was honestly the best banner I could have asked for. Wait, let's go! Let's go! We got Whitebeard before Pity. Okay, let's go. So, in 40 spins, we did just get Whitebeard. That is going to be huge. Let me go ahead. I mean, Whitebeard's not really good. He's kind of out of the meta right now. But let's still go ahead and equip him just because... Let's go. We did get Whitebeard, guys. And we can also evolve him to a 6-star, but obviously they are a lot worse than Blackbeard's 6-star. So, the plan for the next video is going to be to hit level 40, and then I'll either grind for BB6 next video, or we might go for Bulma 5-star. I'm really gonna see. But sorry, today's video was mainly just more of a grindy one. That is gonna be it. I will see you all later, and have a great day. Peace.